Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some bath and body empties. This is mostly Lush and Indie Vendors, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in. I do have a new candle, Nikki, if you are watching. I have a new candle. This I have had forever. It's Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. I think it's gotta be at least like six or seven years old. I just don't, I don't burn candles. Let me see if I can speak this morning. I don't burn candles, so I haven't really bought any. I threw a bunch away because they had lost scent. I had just been hanging on to them forever and it was time for them to go. So this is like the only candle I think I have in my house right now. I might have one more, but yeah. This one should last me a while because the other one lasted me forever. So let's go ahead and just jump right on in here. So the first thing I have, I finished, I went ahead and loaded my shower up with a bunch of these small 3.3 ounces shower gels. This first one is Rose Jam. And I think I've showed this before, but if you move this sticker that's on the side there, you can see that they put like a little saying there and that one says we're jamming. This one, oh man. This one makes me feel so girly. I kept pulling this one when I wanted to feel super girly in the shower or it was just one of those days. I have some more coming. I just ordered some of the naked packaging just to try it out. I figured what the hell. <laughs> but usually at the after Christmas sale, like Rose Jam usually sticks around for a while. So I I'm, have a feeling I can grab the buy one, get one with the Rose Jam. So hopefully that's true. This is such a beautiful scent. It's not floral to me. To me, it's more of like if you were to take a rose and dip it into, what would you dip it into? Like a sugar coating or no, actually let's say a jam or a jelly, like a, a really sweet jelly and you were to stick the, fl the rose in there and then pull it out and then make it into a shower gel. That's what I would say. This has, I feel like it has lemon in it somewhere because yeah, Sicilian lemon oil. Because I know I've heard someone say that they can smell lemon. I don't get lemon. I just get like the sweet rose scent. The jam scent. So yeah, this one is really, really pretty. It's back there. So the next one, this one looks kind of yucky. Some of the labels sometimes with Lush start to go when they get wet. Mine don't sit directly in the water. They're away from the water, but... I think for some reason this one just like started after long usage, the label just started to go. So this I got Mother's Day last year, yeah. Well, this one is, I don't know how to describe the scent of this one. This one is very interesting. It's a strawberry scent. I think it's along the lines of yummy, yummy, yummy and like peeping Santa. Trying to think what else it shares its scent with. I can't think right now. This one on the side, you can't see it probably, but it says Mama Mia under the label there. You can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Or Mama Mia's, maybe. It's hard to get those labels off. I've tried, <laughs> like I try before every video to get the labels off and they are really hard. Like usually I end up chipping a nail. So Yummy Mummy is very interesting. I don't know quite how to describe it. It's not like a fresh picked strawberry to me. It's just a sweet strawberry it has something else in there and I can't quite put my finger on what it is that I'm smelling it has cocoa butter geranium oil Brazilian orange oil maybe it's the Tonka let me smell that again yeah okay wait a second it, I'm familiar with Tonka from Twilight so maybe it's kind of got the strawberry Tonka smell I don't know it just doesn't smell like a like a super realistic strawberry to me so that I made it through. Let's see what else. Oh, yuzu and cocoa. So yuzu and cocoa is supposed to be like, well, obviously <laughs> that's dumb. I was just about to explain it. it's yuzu and cocoa. <laughs> oh, geez, we're off to a bad start. I can't see what the label says under this one. It's, it says something. I can't see, maybe y'all can. Yuzu and cocoa. So yuzu is kind of like, it's not, it's an orange. I think it's like in the citrus family, but it's not like orange to me. Like it doesn't smell like a really bright, fresh orange. It's more of a understated orange scent. I really like this one. 
I don't smell like to me it's not like overly chocolate or anything it just smells kind of like a light chocolate orange scent but the orange is very light and the chocolate is not very heavy either it's kind of I think anyone would really like this I'm having a hard time trying to describe this one because it's just to me it's not that strong like in scent as far as scent goes so I would definitely get that one again though because I did enjoy it I would get all three of these again rose jam being my top though just because that one just makes me feel super girly yummy mummy is a little bit like it's kind of off to me just a little bit to my nose so that one would be why I would be kind of on the fence about getting a bigger bottle I would get a small bottle for sure it's raining men this one is great this is another one that I would repurchase and this one underneath says hallelujah <laughs> which is super cute i thought it took the tag off yeah i did so that one says hallelujah which is super cute because it goes with the song this one is just lovely the first ingredient is honey so you know you're getting something good when the first ingredient is honey i think this is like a, it smells like honey I wash the kids if you're familiar with that. I think people, most people know what it's raining men smells like. This would definitely be a repurchase as well when I need another shower gel, which at the present moment I don't, I'm trying really hard to, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, from Cosmic Cleanse, this is an infused whip soap. I love her whip soaps. They are, I really like them. However, I don't know if I'd get an infused product again for a whip soap because it only stays on you for a little bit. I did use this for shaving and it worked wonderful. It The scent Party with Heidi was amazing as well. I think it was like a fizzy pop, some sort of like rainbow fizzy pop scent. Oh, it smells so good. Really, like I loved this during summertime because I used this all through summertime and I just finished it just now and I really like it. I don't notice with the infused with the infusion of this I don't notice really any different like I do her butters but yeah this I don't know why I'm like <laughs> shaking everything all around I'll try to be more still but anyways this is a great scent I like her whip soaps there I go again dang it I'm shaking it shaking it all around let's move you over there put you right there so yeah I do like her whip soaps a shower jelly from Lush. This is iced wine. This is still in my shower, but I think I'm going to chunk it up and use it in bath, in my bath for some bubbles because this one is pretty, it's big and it's taking me forever to get through. Some of the other jellies that I used this last like couple of months, I, I went through them really fast. Like they seem to go really quick. Iced wine, however, it seems to be taking forever. Iced wine is very, it's got this very bitter smell. I think it has, I want to say grapefruit. Yeah, it has grapefruit oil. Fresh grape infusion. Yeah. So this one is a little bit bitter. It's nice if you like like that bitter type note, like grapefruit. If you like grapefruit, I think you'd like this one. I don't know what bath like cocktail I'm gonna put this with. I can't think of what bath bomb this would go with because it's just such a it's such a different and unique scent. So yeah, that one would not be a repurchase, but I, I do like it. This oh, I don't even want to like. There's cat hair on it, so I don't even want to like show it. But this is from Bathing Garden. This is scandalously talking flower bomb. You can see that I tried to use it. Oh, but it smells so horrible. <laughs> it smells like plastic. Oh, it smells horrible. I, I don't know if it went off. I think I got it in like a package from somebody. Maybe like a random act of kindness or something. But yeah, it just, it was not, it just, I think from when I first got it, it didn't smell good. Hold on, my phone is ringing. Let me just check. I don't know who that is. Okay. The next one I have is Santa's Belly, and this is a shower jelly. This shower jelly I went through really fast. I was surprised at how quickly I went through this. This one looks like Jesus is on the back, doesn't it? <laughs> like, 
Every time I saw him in the shower, I was just like, I felt like someone was watching me. Okay, <laughs> so this one is smells like so white. They didn't come back with this this year, did they? I don't think they did. I think they came back with snow showers, which is celebrate. I feel like they came out with something so white though. They didn't come out with a bath bomb though, which I was really surprised because I thought that was like one of their, like a bestseller, but maybe not. So Santa's belly, it's this red jelly with like gold glitters in it. It's really nice. I didn't find the glitters to stick to me or anything crazy. So that one was really nice. And I went through it pretty fast. It gave me a nice lather as well. I put them in organza bags and they suds up really well. So this is Thumb Coast Cargo. Now this used to be a Life Deliberate soap company, but she changed her name and her logo and branding. However, when I went to go look at her up yesterday, or no, not yesterday, a couple weeks ago, when I wanted to get some more, I couldn't find her anywhere. She is great. She has great customer service. I don't know where she went. I think she closed down because she was having health issues. So I hope that she's feeling better soon or whatever, because I love her stuff. She does Lush dupes or Lush scents. This was Sex Bomb. I don't know if I'd get Sex Bomb again. I would get the Sugar Whip again though. I did really like it. Sex Bomb, I really like the scent of. It's kind of floral. You have to kind of be in the mood for it. I'm kind of out of the mood for it right now, so that's probably why I'm kind of like, I wouldn't get that one again. This one is her meringue and shave soap, whipped meringue and shave soap. This was in, uh, where did you go? Rose Jam. <laughs> this is in Rose Jam. This smelled exactly like spot on Rose Jam. I love this. I wish I had gotten some more, or I wish I had got more before she closed in Rose Jam because that's just great to know that you can get that even if Lush doesn't have it or they're not making it at the current time or whatever. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and go through some bath bombs that I went through this last couple weeks. One thing I wanna say is you have to be really careful. I was reading up on the internet about taking too many baths and how it can mess with your, what do I wanna say, hoo-ha? <laughs> I don't know. Your junk, I know that's for guys. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to say like, do you guys have any tips for like how to avoid irritation or I haven't personally experienced it, but I can tell like after I've had like four baths, if I take four baths like in a row, I'm kind of like, I'm prone to, well, I, I don't get very many UTIs, but I know what it feels like to sort of get one. Sorry, this is too much information, isn't it? But I know what it's, it feels like to start to get a UTI. And I sort of feel that after I have like four baths in a row. And so then I'm like, okay, I need to quit taking baths and like, you know, stop. And then I'm fine. But I feel like if I kept taking baths, like I would bring on like a UTI or something. So any tips on that? Like I was thinking like, can you wear like bikini bottoms in the bath? Like, would that even help? Or does that even make any sense? Because... I guess water would still seep through the bikini bottoms, so I don't know if that would help protect, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, what do swimmers do? So swimmers are in the pool, all the, in chlorinated pools all the time. That can't be good for you, right? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so I did a Northern Lights. These are faded. These are from last year, so I really am working on getting through my Christmas stuff. I actually did two Northern Lights, so there's my second one, so you can see the two bags there. I did two Northern Lights. I really liked that one quite a bit, although both of mine were broken. They're the new shorter, like the shorter sticks now, like they were the, used to be the longer, like baton looking things. And both of mine had broken before I even got them like out of the packaging. One was still intact, but as I was getting it out of the package, it just busted, so. I did a Christmas penguin, which is a quite, quite nice. I'm trying to think of if it's the olive branch scent. I can't remember. I cocktailed it with something, so it didn't really matter. This grungy looking bag is, was holding snow cake soap, a half of a snow cake soap that I have in my shower right now. I did one of my all time favorites, which is Lord of Miss Roll. This one, every time I use it, it always leaves my skin scented so strong. 
Actually, all of these did. And somewhere I have, oh, I did two Keep It Fluffies as well, but I don't have the bag because I have one more in a polypropylene, so I didn't bring that one out. The other one that super impressed me that I was surprised about, and you're not gonna be able to tell what it is on the label, but this is the Sparkly Pumpkin. You can kind of tell by the bag there. This one smelled amazing. When I, like, when I first smelled it on its own, I was not impressed. I was like, this smells okay. It's kind of manly, not, well, not manly, but it kind of had this like, I want to say like a clove or like a, I don't know. I need to see the ingredient list, but there was something in here. And as soon as I put it in the tub and it hit water and it like kind of evaporated, it smelled amazing. I wish they had brought something like that back this year at Halloween time. I used a wizard. I still have one left, so there's this little guy. I love him. I love the wizard, super cute. So I am trying really hard to get through. I like the scent too, even though I don't think it would be everybody's cup of tea. What does it have in there? Um, oh, fennel. I think the fennel is what kind of gives it a little bit of a different type of scent. But anyways, okay. So what I was gonna say is I am trying to get through my bath bombs from Christmas of last year. Uh, from my experience, from what I'm learning, bath bombs just do not last. Even if I keep them in these polypropylene bags, still, even when I go to put them in the bath, they don't feel as fresh as like a brand new one. So also, I so, some of these, like this one too, just stayed in the bag that came from Lush and it did seem to do just fine. Um, it wasn't like super fresh or anything. It didn't like keep it, it didn't fizz like a brand new one probably would. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go through more of my polypropylene covered bath bombs to see how they do. But anyways, okay, <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling. I'm gonna stop. I usually would do my project 777, but today I felt like I had so many empties that I was just gonna do an empties video, a beauty empties, because I I couldn't, I didn't really wanna pull seven more things out just because I have enough in my shower right now. So maybe next month I'll do that. And I also didn't really feel like, I feel like I have enough to throw away here that I didn't need to find seven things to trash either. I need to just do a big purge is what, kind of what I think I'm like leaning towards. But anyways, okay, I think I've rambled enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if any of these are your favorites and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys.